So now we have to cut the galvanized pipes and the copper pipes. So we'll start with the galvanized pipes. Dr. Zhang? Yeah. The way to cut it is very easy. Just use this and find a center or somewhere. You just do it. It's pretty tough, but eventually we'll cut it. So once it's broken, you have two options. You usually use a pipe wrench to unscrew this. So you use a pipe wrench to unscrew the uh, cut galvanized pipe. pipe. And then use this type of fin, a plug. Use this kind of plug to plug in here so the water here doesn't uh, come out. And you can work on this side, the new, uh, the new copper bathroom. There's another type is, is the cap. The cap is work like this on this end. There's a thread. And you can thread on here. That's another way to block it. Depends on if this, this side is already cut it and you have this thread exposed, you can just use that without cutting here. Okay, so the next we have to prepare the copper. Now we have to cut the copper. So the the first thing you have to do, some people use um, masking tape. Um, you can do a measurement how long this is and do a masking tape and get the um, edge or some people can use the marker. You just uh, draw a line here Say I want to cut here, but you really need to make sure it's the correct lens because if you cut too short and you put this inside, this is not going to um, be long enough. So you have to really leave, this is a, like a half inch extra here. So always remember to double check your measurements no matter what. Right. And once you make, you're sure about your measurement, Cutting is very easy. This one you screw on and do a few times that will be cut in, in, in two half. Uh, once you cut to the lens, then you need to use a sandpaper to sand it. So because there's an oxidization, if you don't sand it, it will not be secure. After you sand it, you need to apply the flex, for example, like this here. Which is uh, applied there. You can use a small brush or just anything like clean. So you apply both on this side or also inside here. So once you have done that, what you do is so say our goal is to so the, those two pieces. And you need to fasten this on maybe already on a wood plank somewhere. But here is Mr. Dan is holding it. So we're yeah, this one. So where's the torch? So pretend you have a match here, you let the air um, the gas come out, you already light the torch so you first heat this part this part is so right now the torch is lighted and it's uh, um, heating this heating pipe this part and the heat uh, and then you have to do this part and afterwards once it's very hot you need to apply this on this joint this solder will actually go seep through the gaps and go inside will uh, uh, so there, you know, make the joint uh, very secure. So you need to torch it and then solder it to make it secure. Right. And then once it's, uh, it's cooled down, once it's cool, it's cool. Then it's uh, uh, you you need a double check to see whether there's a gap there. Okay. And if you have done, you know, you have to shoot the uh, practice this. Uh, many times before you on real. See this you have to do many times. This is one example. This is another one. 
And this is a uh, another one. With the copper, it's very easy. If you made a mistake, you just cut this and get rid of the whole thing and make another part. And unlike the galvanized, you really have to have a special tool to do it. And copper is much easier. Now, the question is, what is your configuration of your house? Suppose you have a configuration similar to us. This is uh, what uh, I would recommend you do. For example, this is the one bathroom. This bathroom, you uh, save it, you know, you don't do anything, though all your family member use this one. You first cut here, and you can work on this part as a new uh, copper plumbing. And of course, take this part and do a plug here. But once you finish it, I recommend not to reconnect right away because it's very hard to solder if there's water inside the pipe. It will take a long time and it will not be secure. And the next step you will be doing is this one and do a plug here so you still can use the kitchen. And once that's done, you need to do the kitchen, of course. It depends on which one is first. Eventually, you have to reconnect. So what, when you do reconnect them, there's a, a, a some part will have a water. But let me show you how you resolve the problem. You should first drain the water. You cannot have a water anywhere. So you try to find a way to drain the water. If you have a, a horizontal pipe like this. You want to reconnect the two of them like this. If there's a water on one of the side, and when you do solder, it will not be easy because the water ev evaporate and it's not um, secure uh, on, the, on the joint. So what you should find a section that was vertical because when vertical, the water will be on the lower part. Of course, if the best is uh, the second floor, but Water is on this part. When you hit this part, water may evaporate. But as long as you have a uh, quite a, a distance here, you can actually do a very secure or good uh, um, solder here. You can uh, connect them safely. So that's the last tip. So um, once again, we just like to thank you for viewing uh, Dr. Zhang and Mr. Zhang, and we hope we'll see you next time.